question. So how much do you believe you are worth? No, no intro song. Going to jump right into it. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? No, I'm not talking about the numbers at the end of the year, the numbers that you report. <laughs> I'm not talking about numbers, I'm not talking about financials. In a sense, I'm not. But I'm asking you a question. If somebody were to ask you, how much are you worth? What answer would you give them? Would you give the, give the answer in a dollar amount? Would you give the answer in some form of a value amount? Well, this is a very complex question to answer. What is your value in your life? I know this, that every one of us needs to know we are valuable. Okay, I'm just taking a break from the traditional frugality stuff today. Just want to deep dive into it because I believe a lot of us lack confidence. And this lacking of confidence is a thing that holds us back. But why do we lack confidence? I think sometimes we're replaying like old records in our brain from even 40 years ago, 30 years ago, it depends on your age, 50 years ago. I've heard some things when I was a, a kid from authority figures, uh, not at home, thankfully. My parents were very, very wonderful, loving, positive people. But some outside folks that I remember like hearing, you know, I mean, I, I was born left-handed. And I heard a lot of, you know, negative information back in my day about being left-handed. And then for a long time, I said, boy, what's what's wrong with me? You know, I'm I'm left-handed, you know, am I different? Why, why do I have to be so different? Then I realized that that's nothing. It's just the way God made me and God does not make junk. And that's what this conversation to you is about today. God does not make junk. There is no printable dollar amount that any human being can give to another human being. We are all valuable people. We are all wonderful people, but we have to know this within our own selves. We have to know this by A, taking better care of ourselves, taking ourselves a health a little more seriously, especially as we get older and as time goes by. You know, when you're younger, you kind of take your health for granted. But as we get older, we sometimes realize and look around us, sometimes we're losing our friends and family faster than we would ever thought. And then you ask yourself, wait a minute, that could be yourself, right? So that's just one aspect of it, uh, recognizing that we don't have to replay over and over in our mind's eye the negative information, those negative records or videos in our brain, for example. It could be looked at as a video. You have the right to change the channel in your mind. If a negative thought about your past or a mistake that you have made is holding you back from being the best possible you in your life. And yes, this does have in a way determines your financial future and present time too. that lack of confidence, that feeling of not so great self worth. It really, really makes a difference. How do you check out your self esteem? If you were to rate yourself today, what would you rate yourself as? This is why this question is coming up. But I can assure you of this. Your past does not determine your present and don't let, if it's a negative past, do not, do not, do not under any circumstance. If you've made mistakes, who hasn't made a mistake? Anyone that says they never made a mistake is a liar. Just pure and simple. They're lying to themselves and they're lying to you too. We are human. We all make mistakes. Have we learned from the mistake? That's the real question. And that's the life lesson that you can get from it. I just thought I'd take a minute today. Please don't let your past failures or mistakes determine your personal self-worth. And certainly don't let it hamper you from trying something new, from beginning that side hustle, from putting money in the bank, from saying to yourself, oh, I don't have self-control. I can't say. Turn that statement around. Turn that statement around. Look in the mirror and say, you know something? I really do have self-control. You know something? I really could lose the, that 10 or 20 pounds. You have to make up your mind. It is so fascinating how our mindset, just by flipping the switch in our mind, even if you don't believe it at first, utter the words, write them down, put them on a piece of paper, stick it up on the refrigerator with a magnet. I am a valuable person or right. God does not make junk. You have to, you have to say this to yourself. Sometimes you have to say it. Sometimes you have to fake it to make it. 
Sometimes, even if you don't feel that feeling, you have to remind yourself and then set little teensy weensy tiny goals. I'll give you an example. I am determined that I'm going to save $20 at the grocery store, the next grocery haul. Ah, you can start small. Maybe if $20 is a stretch out of your realm, dial it back. I am determined that I'm definitely going to save $10 or $15 on the next grocery haul. Ah, okay. Well, tell yourself, today is the day I am beginning my stockpile. Ah, oh, don't say to yourself, ah, it's not worth it. Ah, I'm not going to keep track of it. Ah, it's too much work. Get rid of all of that negative speak. You know, negative speak can really hinder a person. And like I said a minute ago, fake it to make it, even if you don't feel it, ah, even if you're feeling that negative feeling about yourself. And you want to know why sometimes that happens? That happens from that broken record or that replayed video of a bad instant or a mistake that you've made or a lack of judgment call. Everyone has made mistakes. If you start from the beginning and know, you know what? Every single human being on planet Earth has made a mistake. I am starting fresh. I am starting from scratch. This is very important. And another thing you could do is make a plan. So you know what? Today is the rest of my life. I'm beginning this day, this first day, which is the rest of my life. And I am starting off on a clean slate. And you know what? You don't have to make, I know this, this sounds silly, you don't have to announce it to the world. Sometimes the best things that you can accomplish in life were not announced to the world. Sometimes people get more done when they don't say every little thing, okay? Have you ever known of, I don't want to like offend anyone who may misunderstand this, but sometimes when people, so either it works or it doesn't work. Because at one time, like I was doing this like weight loss challenge for myself and I wanted to do it on this platform and all this and all that. What, you want to know what it did for me? It was counterproductive for me, Janet, not saying other people. For me, it stressed me out. But for other people, it can work for them. Now, let's getting back to reevaluating you for your self-worth. And you tell yourself, today's the day I'm going to build upon the true self-worth of me, knowing that God does not make junk and you can make a better life for yourself. Yes, yes, we rely on God, but we have to also do our part. God expects us to do our part too. He really does. He really, really does. So it's like, you know, it's like a partner program. You have to do your great share. You have to. But start fresh, start clean and know you are a wonderful person. There is absolutely no price tag on you. And everyone tries. Guess what? Trying is succeeding. So I hope that this message, if this message reached one person today, then I succeeded. And that makes me feel really, really good. In the meantime, this has been John from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. Why? Because I really do appreciate who... You have an amazing, fantastic day. No outro today. Plain and simple. Have a good day. Bye-bye.